are back with Rebecca Corso, head trainer at California Service Dog Academy, and Cesar Alviso, veteran and recipient of a service dog, and of course, Freya, the service dog. Welcome back, guys. Thank you. I think the best thing is you guys say you train both handler and dog. So how was that whole experience? How do you guys handle that? Uh, it, it was very educational, the do's and don'ts, the laws, what we can do, can't do. So it actually taught me a lot about the laws of the ADA. Okay. So, so where you can take them, kind of how much? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot to know when you have a service dog. Um, you know, the appearance of the dog, the way you handle yourself, the way you handle confrontation, where you are allowed to take the dog. So we put the, the veterans through a six-week course, actually. They don't actually get to touch a dog for six weeks. Oh, man. <laughs> so it's part of our screening process. It's part of making sure this is something they really want. They learn about taking care of a dog in case, you know, some of them have never had a dog before. Mm -hmm. Caesar had, so he knew how to take <laughs> care of a dog. But the other thing we go over a lot besides like service dog law is um, positive reinforcement training. So that's mm -hmm. a big one for our group. We only use positive reinforcement. We use it for the dogs and we use it for the vets. <laughs> and that goes a long way. It really does, you know, with the dogs and the veterans. Um, they learn better, they're happier, they're hap it's a better team, you know, a better yeah. partnership. So instead of jerking on the dog or shocking the dog to make them do something, we want it to be a more of a cooperative relationship. Absolutely. And so we're really proud of that. Well, and you want to make sure, I like that it's a six-week program, so you make sure everyone who's there is because they need it, not just... That's right doing it to do it right and then after that six weeks then they get paired with a dog and then they don't we don't stop there it's not necessarily a fully trained dog so a lot of times we meet three to five times a week and we may we may meet in a classroom setting with the dogs we may meet at a restaurant and have lunch together wow. um, so we do a lot of real world training so that so that both the dog and the vet get used to working in the public, you know, and, and in a real world thing and not just in the classroom. Absolutely. I mean, knowing that they have your back throughout this whole process, no matter what, that's got to be really comforting. Yes. That's right. amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you and for having us. One more time real quick for anyone who thinks that this is for them. Where do they go for that? CaliforniaServiceDogAcademy.org. In Visalia. Perfect. In Visalia, yep. Thank you.